Hi everyone, my name is Nabil Khan. I'm an application marketing manager with Ublox, and today I'm going to be presenting a brief demo around air quality monitoring in collaboration with MicroE and Sincerian. To give you some background on why we chose air quality monitoring, um, it's mostly because of the impact it has on humans around the world. So every year, millions of people die due to ex uh, exposure to polluted air with up to five times more of this air pollution being found indoors than outdoors. So indoor air quality monitoring is on the rise. And, um, you know, this really has an impact on health conditions for short term and long term. So breathing in healthier air can help increase productivity and lower overall uh, health risks. A lot of these air quality monitors are starting to become wirelessly connected, allowing users to monitor the state of these sensors on their phones or receive alerts um, via cloud APIs. And today we're going to showcase how you can build a distributed wireless air quality monitoring system using BLE plus uh, Wi-Fi and LTE on the gateway side for backhaul. Let's take a look at the hardware that we're going to be using today. On the sensor side, we'll leverage a MicroE HVAC clickboard featuring a Sensorian SCD41 temperature, humidity, and CO2 sensor all in one convenient package on a clickboard. That can plug into one of the microbus connectors on a mini Nora B106 evaluation board. So this is the dual core NRF5340 based Bluetooth device that we're gonna be using to transmit that sensor data over advertising packets. To receive those packets, we'll be running a scanner application on the Ublox Explore IoT board. This is an all-in-one application development platform with LTE, M, NB1 backhaul, Wi-Fi backhaul, BLE connectivity capability, as well as integrated GNSS and plenty of other sensors. It's a really cool kit that we're going to be using as a gateway to send the sensor data up into the cloud. Regarding the operating system and tools that we'll be using today, um, we're going to be developing using Zephyr as the Nordic NRF5340 has a lot of native code examples and support out of the box for the Zephyr operating system. This is an open source RTOS that's supported by dozens of boards out there uh, dozens of processors and allows port code portability and tested proven examples coming from both Nordic and uh, third party vendors such as Sensurian and even Ublox integrating our products into their tool chain. For the IDE, we'll be using Visual Studio Code as well as the Nordic NRF Connect extension that will help automate some build tasks. Ublox offers a comprehensive library of APIs to speed up development of your application. Instead of you having to reinvent the wheel on MQTT clients or how to configure a Wi-Fi device or a Bluetooth device, we've taken a lot of code examples and tested them and made them publicly available through our GitHub to allow you to speed up your development by providing a minimal portable C library that can run on many different MCUs and RTOS platforms and get you connected to your enterprise cloud, whether you're using AWS, Azure, or a private cloud service. It um, really is a modular software system that can really speed up your time to market. For the software architecture, We'll start off with the Nora mini board with the sensor plugin card, and this will be used as a BLE broadcaster. So it's going to periodically read the sensor over I squared C and then append that data to the manufacturer specific advertising data in each packet that will be transmitted about every 10 seconds. And this is configurable by the user. That data is going to be received by a BLE scanner app that's running in the gateway. And then we're just going to filter out any unnecessary packets that we don't want to report back to the cloud. 
and we'll also be implementing an MQTT client that can communicate back to the, the cloud using Wi-Fi or cellular. We're going to be leveraging the native support of Censurian's drivers on Zephyr OS to read from the SCD41 on the clickboard. We're going to utilize some of Nordic's out-of-the-box examples for broadcasting as well as scanning. And then for the MQTT client and the APIs to get that data up to the cloud, we're going to be leveraging UBXLib. That data will then get sent up to the cloud to the Ublox ThingStream broker. And this is a complete communication as a service, which includes a enterprise grade MQTT or MQTTSN broker for lower data overhead and allows us to run some functions in the cloud. In this case, I'll be doing some type conversion and formatting, converting that to JSON in the cloud to save some overhead from um, data and lower overall data throughput from the gateway to the cloud. And I'll show you a little bit more in a few slides on how we can use the data flow manager to get that data into our private enterprise. To visualize this data, I developed a custom Node-RED dashboard. Um, this is an open source project that it can be used to implement um, dashboards on your local host or in the cloud. So we will be leveraging this to visualize the sensor data being reported from the gateway to ThingStream and then subscribed via the Node-RED dashboard. So let me walk you through what this process looks like in real time. Shortly on the serial terminal over here, you'll see the sensor output coming from the micro e click. So quite simply, we are running the driver that is provided by Sensorian to read from the sensor using Zephyr OS and combining that with the Nordic broadcaster example. So this will broadcast that sensor data about every 10 seconds or so, enabling us to receive that information on the gateway side. Now let's take a look at the serial output from the gateway, which will be the Explore IoT. And this is running that Nordic scanner example that's gonna allow us to capture all of those advertising packets coming from the Nora B1 mini board so once the scanner receives a valid advertising packet, we're going to filter that packet and then use the ubxlib mqtt client. In this case, we're using Wi-Fi to send that up to a topic called air quality. So you can see on the serial output, we're performing an mqtt publish containing the sensor advertising data and publishing that up to the ThingStream MQTT broker. So this is simply repeated every 10 seconds or so. We're storing the latest air quality monitor data in a buffer and then publishing that to the cloud. Navigating to ThingStream.io, we can see a list of our active MQTT devices. In this case, I provisioned a device for my explore kit, as well as custom flows that enable us to subscribe to specific topics and modify that data, form that data in any way we wish before sending it to our enterprise cloud, whether it's AWS, Azure, or a private enterprise API endpoint. So here you can see I'm subscribed to the air quality topic and remember that the gateway was publishing data to that topic. I'm also leveraging some JavaScript functions to format that data, converting it to a human readable string, as well as converting it to JSON format before publishing that over to an air quality dashboard. We also have integrated nodes for popular cloud services such as AWS, Azure IoT, and TIBCO. If you want to send your data directly to those brokers, you can do that within the data flow manager very easily as well.
And finally, I'm gonna jump over to our Node Red dashboard that we're gonna to use to visualize this data. So Node Red is a browser-based flow editor that really makes it easy to wire together different data flows and create data visualization dashboards. So I'm running a instance on my local host, but you could also create a scalable instance in the cloud. And we're going to be able to develop very quickly a flow over here, as you can see, that's just subscribing to the air quality MQTT topic. And we'll take that data that we formatted into that JSON payload and then create a few charts for CO2, humidity, and temperature. So launching the dashboard, we will be able to quickly visualize the data in real time on a local dashboard. Again, this could be deployed to mobile applications or cloud-based instances to view this information from anywhere. And we can see that this data is actually being updated in real time with very low latency. And to visualize that, we can take a look at the serial output from our device and see how long it takes to update this uh, dashboard. And you can see that it is basically updating in real time, synchronized to the uh, air quality BLE packets being received by the gateway. Now, if you thought that demo was cool, we also have additional demos available on the uBlocks GitHub page, such as this sensor aggregator example that can run on the Explore IoT. This allows you to read from the GNSS module as well as other onboard sensors and periodically communicates that data via a similar thing stream flow uh, using cellular Wi-Fi or directly through uh, UART for visualization as well. So check out that example when you get a chance. In conclusion, the Mini Nora B1 as well as the Explore IoT and the HVAC Clickboard are all available for purchase today from DigiKey and really enable a modular approach for any kind of sensor-based or IoT-based wireless communication system. So Ublox has a complete end-to-end -end solution from silicon to cloud, and we're really investing a lot in open source software and drivers and close partnerships with vendors to expand this ecosystem as well. Hope you enjoyed the webinar today and have a great day.